from the Commandos and the Zombies are going to demonstrate exactly what is going on in a roller derby match. At the beginning, a pack consisting of four blockers. All right, we're going to turn that down. There we go. A pack consisting of four blockers from each team. Line up on or behind the pivot line. The pivot line. The pivots are distinguished by the helmet pendy with the line on the head. They are your pivots. They will be setting the pace. The jammers, one from each team, line up on the jammer line. The jammer line, that green line right there. They wear the stars and are the point scorers. They're the ones you're going to want to pay attention to. Actually, you want to pay attention to everybody. On the first whistle, the pack will start. On the second consecutive whistle, the jammers have started. The object is for the jammers to make it through the pack without getting penalties. The first jammer to do so on her first pass is your lead jammer. As demonstrated right now, Heartless Martis is now your lead jammer. You can see the referee holding an L and pointing towards the lead jammer holding up the hand representing, you will see the purple representing the zombies. All right, the lead jammer, uh, the first jammer is the lead jammer, and can call off the jam by touching her hips. Touching her hips, that signifies calling off the jam. The pack must block the jammers and opposing blockers without getting penalties like use of elbows, low blocking, cutting the track, back blocking, and multiple player blocking. The points are scored, one point for every player passed, as the jammer makes their track around, if the jammer can make it all the way around and up and lap the opposing jammer, it is a grand slam. A grand slam worth five points and multiple grand. Any points can be gained as long as the jammer uh, within two minutes until the jammer again touches her hips. All right, everybody, and that is Roller Derby.